Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video I'll be sharing you some of the beginner OSCP resources that you can use in all, for your OSCP preparation. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So first of all guys, if you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. All the links are in the description below and if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is also in the description below. So OSCP, you all know like the uh, most of the viewers who are watching this video, they might have known what OSCP. So OSCP is an industri industry standard penetration testing exam. So it's like uh, it has a lot of value and this is a practical exam. Uh, it has like 24 hours. Uh, the exam time is 24 hours and you will be, uh, you know, exploit trying to exploit six machines so which consists of three vulnerable machines as well as three active director and active directory set which consists of three machines like two clients and one act uh, one domain controller so uh, there been a lot of changes in the past there uh, there is no active directory set over here so now you can see there is an active directory set and it's very good itself uh, it seems like i'm not sure but by the end of this year i'll be taking this exam most probably by december or yeah, mostly by december i'll take this exam and I'll be sharing you all my path on this channel so you can subscribe uh, for more content. So coming to this, this is the landing page. Uh, you can see the uh, course syllabus over here. So the course syllabus is pretty basic. Like you will be they will be covering uh, penetration testing concepts and also web pen testing as well as privilege escalations as well as active director pen testing to keep it simple. Like uh, like uh, like in those stuff they included like some sort of attacks you can just go through them but what i told you is uh, all it is and also there were few restrictions as well so keep an eye on them okay so you don't need to use uh, an automated tools which uh, auto exploits okay so coming to that so if you are starting right now so oscp is not a beginner exam so if you want to start just learn linux okay so linux is very easy thing like learn uh, how to inter uh, how to interact with linux using command so uh, like there is f several websites out there so you can simply search for linux command line uh, you know online for interaction so you don't even need to install as well like uh, you'll get uh, all almost all these tools you know like they'll give you an interactive shell where you can practice and there were some games as well through which you can learn linux okay so learning linux is obviously your choice like try to understand the architecture of linux and also what are the basic commands and stuff okay so how you can uh, like try to uh get into a situation how where you can you know like without interact with like gui you should be able to you know interact with your linux machine just through commands so that is the level that i would recommend you to go like uh, it may not come in a day so it goes you know it's like uh, it happens in over the time okay so that's the one thing and then uh, just get some basic idea on networking so what is a network like what are uh, what is an osi reference layer okay what is tcp by ip layer okay just try to understand what how the network like once you are searching something what are requests what are responses how the data is transferred and all this stuff okay and also one thing that i would recommend you to learn is like uh, uh, like just try to un uh, go through all these most common ports like you don't need to remember all these 50 ports but there were few ports which are very important okay and try to understand their uh, protocol as well like for example what smb does what an ic icmp does okay what an ssh does like try to understand them okay so networking and these are the basic stuff and like try to understand a bit of cryptography so if you want to learn them right i made some detailed videos on my channel so it's all just a search away so just mention my channel name and I made a video on networking, you know, uh, I made videos on cryptography, basic cryptography and all those stuff. You can just find them out on my channel. And, uh, you know, like coming to that, there are several learning resources as well. So which are available for free on my channel. Then I would suggest you to start with this uh, TriHackMe complete beginner path. Okay. So which teaches you everything. Like even this teaches you Linux uh, fundamentals, networking basics some sort of tools as well so this is also very good uh, co uh, very good path so try hack me it is paid i guess uh, like most of the rooms are for free but uh, even though if you want to get it for free it's just uh, like uh, get it it's like 10 or 14 dollars per month so this is a very good path like if you're starting out okay but if you want a refresher then these are not recommended because they start from the scratch okay and uh, you know like this path is good and then you can start with this path okay uh, like this path is the secondary but before that try to understand how a pen test works like there were few courses out there like uh, i would suggest you going with this practical ethical hacking course and there are so many udemy courses which is uh, which which are which comes under the name red team or uh, you know penetration testing like it's always your choice like try to uh, get some course 
or or else you can find out on my channel or uh, you can find them out on hacker exploit channel there are so many re free resources as well on uh, uh, youtube so it's always your choice but i would suggest you to start with the practical ethical hacking course this course because this course starts from absolute scratch like it teaches you linux it teaches you python it teaches you networking like uh, it covers everything it's your wish okay if you want to learn them separately as well you can find them on youtube you can learn them for free like initially i started learning almost all the stuff for free but later i bought these courses for more structured learning okay and then privilege escalation so there are two of providers here so you can go with this tcm courses or also there is a tybrus course uh, i personally went through this course this is also a very good course so all of them are for paid and also I made a detailed uh, playlist uh, playlist on my channel which covers Windows privilege escalation and Linux privilege escalation. So you can go through them as well. And also there were few uh, try hack me rooms as well. So which is like self study. It's always your choice. Whatever works for you, just try to include them. Okay. So learn how, uh, learn basics and learn the basics of pen testing. Okay. What happens? What is the privilege escalation? Uh, what is the scanning? What is exploitation and the, all this stuff? Then, you know, then start with this offset uh, offensive pen testing path. So this is a path, you know, uh, kept in uh, this path is created in such a way that it kept uh, junior pen testers or like people who are preparing for OSCP in mind. You have some good rooms over here and these rooms are like diverse, like they contain Windows, Linux, okay, all this stuff. And also it contains buffer overflows and for your information, buffer overflows are not there for OSCP, the re recent versions. And this active directory path is very good. Okay, so it teaches you very good information. And once you are done with them, okay, so one thing that I would suggest you to uh, do is like take a good notes. Okay, so whatever you are learning, whatever you are doing, try to add them to your notes. So notes, you know, you can choose Notion, you can choose Notepad, you can choose uh, Markdown, you can choose Word, you can choose whatever it is which works for you, but note it down somewhere. Because we humans, right, we forget, we tend to forget, okay, or, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't remember all the commands. So, for example, if there is a tool, I don't remember the exact command all the time. So, I just quickly go through my notes and I'll fetch that command. Okay, uh, what you need to develop is that methodology over there, okay. So, like, for example, you want to do a scan, but uh, it doesn't mean that you should... Uh, completely learn a syntax of a tool okay you should you should get the tool in your mind that's it just the methodology is fine okay so just note it down somewhere i particular i personally use notion but it's your choice you can use obsidian you can choose whatever you want it's completely your choice okay and then the final step the which is, which i'm currently on is solving the tjnl or netsec focus uh, trophy room they call something so this this particular boxes are from hack the box so hack the box is also a platform like try hack me so uh, it consists of some of the oscp rooms which are similar to uh, like uh, hack the box rooms which are similar to oscp my bad so you can try to solve them so currently i'm solving these rooms so once i'm done with that i'll be you know like buying the voucher and i'll start taking the course videos as well as uh, start working on the lab so that is it guys like this is the simple path like uh, you know like this is the basic path like learn linux uh, networking you know like learn pen testing like little bit of cryptography is also fine and also privilege escalations and active director pen testing is also covered in that uh, 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 like that practical ethical hacking course or any other course it's, it's your choice okay you can find ton of content on youtube for free i'm not recommending you to buy those courses but if you are interested you can go and buy them these are not affiliate links or anything like that these are my personal opinions so i'll be leaving down the, all the links that i mentioned in this video in the description below so feel free to check them out and if you have any suggestions or any you know anything if i've missed anything just let me know in the comment section i will just go through them and i'll add them and also i'm sharing my uh, resources and everything on my twitter account so feel free to follow me over there so that is it for this video really thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you